In this video, we're going to take a look at my rig rundown for my rock setup. My rock drum setup is the Sonar SQ-1, and this kit was released in 2017, and I picked it up, uh, I think, around mid-2017. For my purposes, I use a 22-inch kick, uh, 18 by 17 floor tom, 16 by 15 floor tom, 12-inch uh, rack tom, and 10-inch rack tom, uh, 14 by 5.5 snare, and using Evans heads on everything, uh, EMAD, Evans EMAD on the kick, um, Evans G2 clears on all the heads. Usually for the snare I prefer the Evans uh, Genera Dry, HD Dry, but uh, right now I'm trying the Evans UV1 coated and uh, it's quite fantastic. It's got a lot of life in it for sure. For cymbals I use Sabian. Uh, for my rock setup I'm using a AAX uh, Crash cymbals. I've got a 14 inch AAX Crash, 16 inch AAX Crash, uh, 18 inch AAX crash and for the ride I'm using a HHX uh, raw bell dry ride 21 inch and it's fantastic. I use one China symbol it's a Sabian AA uh, 17 inch 16 or 17 inch and one splash symbol in this configuration it's a AA splash uh, an 8 inch. The hi-hats are Sabian AA metal X hats uh, 14 inch super heavy great sound to them um, Really fantastic stuff. For pedals, I'm using the DW3000 Double Kick. Um, cowbell, I'm using an MP 9-inch uh, cowbell. And uh, I'm using a Gibraltar rack to hold everything together. It makes for such an easier setup and teardown playing live with this. Now, sometimes for smaller venues, I'll take a, a smaller configuration of this where I'll use one 12-inch rack tom and either a 16 or an 18-inch floor tom. Uh, in addition to the kick and the snare, of course. But for the main rock kit, this is what I'm using. In behind me, I'm using a MacBook Pro um, with a monitor I picked up, uh, nice and cheap for a secondary monitor. I uh, use that for GarageBand or anything else I need to use. Fantastic stuff. And the drums are, um, the Sonar SQ ones are 7 ply all birch, Scandinavian birch. Uh, with 45 degree bearing edges. They are uh, fantastic overall sound, uh, very punchy, very focused sound, and uh, can't say enough good things about them. They are really absolutely wonderful. For electronic drums, I'm using the Yamaha DTX 532. Um, sometimes in very small venues you have to go with an electronic kit because an acoustic kit would be just too loud or take up too much space. The footprint for this is slightly smaller than a regular acoustic kit and this is a five, uh, five pad configuration um, with two three zone cymbals and a three zone hi-hat cymbal as well. So that means you can hit on the edge, on the center or at the bell and be able to program different sounds for each zone <coughs> as the case may be. Uh, this is the Yamaha DTX 532. Uh, for pedals, I'm using a Yamaha Flying Dragon double pedal that I've had forever, uh, but it's holding up fantastically well. And so is this kit, actually. It doesn't get a lot of use playing live. Uh, most of the time it's down in the drum cave, and it's often just used for laying down a quick drum track for something, uh, because it's a simple plug-in into GarageBand or anything else for that matter, uh, where you don't need to worry about miking up your acoustic kit plug in your electronic kit and you're good to go to put down a scratch track or something. Another gem I have here in the drum cave is the Yamaha DTX Multi. It's a 12 pad um, unit that uh, has a variety of built in sounds but you can also add your own sounds to it. Uh, sometimes I'll use this with my regular rock setup, uh, sometimes with the jazz setup depending on what the requirements are for a given show. It uh, doesn't get a lot of use, most of the time it's down in my drum cave as well, but I uh, plan on using it a little more in the future. Uh, also what you see here is my 8 inch SQ-1 uh, Tom. I bought the full kit originally, but I don't use the 8 inch Tom for the most part. For the music I'm playing these days, I just don't need it in my setup. So I have it here, just sits on a shelf uh, to be used at some point in the future perhaps. And that's that.